Hello YouTube, it's Neo Drew, bringing you guys another video. Um, sorry about the lack of videos this week, like I said, it's been, I've been to, busy with work and getting back to my work schedule since the school, the, the public school year is starting. Um, but this is going to be my top, uh, top three video. I haven't done one of these in a while. Top three cards or set of cards to not play in shitalls. And I'll tell you the reason why. In no particular, well, actually, number three, Needles Bugs Nest. Number two, Curry Bandit. And number one, and this is where the whole group is, any freaking Light Swarm card or Light Swarm base cards. And here's the reason why all those cards are no longer good to play in shitalls. On Dev Pro, you're able to activate all effects, but in actuality what it is I found out this morning is when shitalls, if, most, if multiple ones are sent at the same time, only you only get to resolve one. You don't get to resolve all of them because they are optional. They're not mandatory effects. They are optional. So you only get to activate one of them. So those, unless I'm proven wrong, um, but that's according to stuff I was looking up and me and some of my friends were looking up as far as rulings this morning, you're only able to activate one of the shadows that you send with those cards. So, for example, Curry Bandit or Needlebug's Nest or Solar Recharge. Or any light swarm card when you're milling. If you send two, if two or more, you're only gonna get one of their effects, which kind of, which really sucks. I mean, yes, these these cards speed up the deck by thinking things out, but the problem is you'll go through your resources too fast. Now I see why Konami made all these things give them a lot of foolish burial type effects, so you can constantly go one for ones and like like Squamata into Dragon or whatever, whatever or whatever. Uh, excuse me, or Sinister uh, Shadow Games to send something, to send another, and another, and another, and so on and so forth. So, again, Needles Bug Nest, Curry Bandit, and any freaking Light Sworn card or Light Sworn base cards, do not play in Shut Alls, because you're only going to be able to resolve one of your Shut All monsters when they're sent to the grave at those cards. Alright, let me know in the comment section below your guys' opinion on this, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out, YouTube.